Hi, this is Yuka with our second guide on tutorial on Java. And for this tutorial today, we're going to just discuss programming in general. And then we're going to discuss the types of applications you can use uh, the Java development kit for. Now, firstly, as a developer with not just Java but any programming language, you download a development kit like we did in our first tutorial. And we use that development kit for creating applications. And the development kit provides us with different tools across different languages and um, for aimed towards different types of applications which are run in different methods to, um, across these programming languages. As an example, HTML is a programming language. We can use it to create web content and so forth. And we'll get to some of the types of Java applications in that as we'll discuss in this tutorial. Now the first thing is that we need to discuss as a programmer or developer what a programming language does for us and how we choose the correct programming language based on our needs. Now this is dependent on um, the support that the development kit provides you as a developer. Now Java provides you with a vast, vast variety of application types that you can develop and it's for this reason that Java is a very good language to learn if you wish to go into various um, fields with regards to development as a web developer, database developer and so forth. So Java covers all these um, technologies quite quite thoroughly. So as a developer or programmer basically what you're doing is firstly you download a development kit which allows you to develop a, a application which is the core principle behind being a programmer. Basically you take a programming language and you create applications out of that uh, out of those languages. So programming languages you use them, you use their development kits and the development kits provide you with what we refer to as an application program interface. Application program interface is basically code which is provided for you and which you tap into using um, the, uh, the libraries of the application which connect you with the development kit and these allow you to create applications and usually these development kits like Java they come with some other form of documentation and otherwise you should be able to locate documentation online for these and other programming languages. Now with Java well, the purpose of programming firstly is that we create applications and basically what an application achieves for us as a developer or as a user is we take input from either directly from a user. Now the distinction between uh, a, us as a developer and a user is that we develop applications and users are, are people who we distribute applica applications to and use applications. Now there are various types of applications but all applications have uh, something in common and that is that applications they serve the function of taking some or other form of data uh, as, which we refer to as input and process that data according to the expectations of the application and then produce output and um, these data the input and the output locations can vary and it's the output and the input locations which can at times determine the type of application that we are dealing with as a developer or as a user so the if the the underlying um, concepts that uh, separate applications are how we interact with them as users and if they are installed directly on our system or remotely and somewhere else. Now let's look at the type of Java applications that we can develop the first and most obvious type of computer application is something as simple as a calculator like the Windows calculator here and we're going to discuss here what the Windows calculator provides us as a user and how we would approach this as a developer so the Windows calculator application takes input from the user through a graphical user interface and in programming terminology or jargon we can refer to this as the GUI in short and the graphical user interface or the GUI it provides the user with a nice little screen here which notifies the user of the input that they are providing for the application 
like for example if we took 20 times 5 we get some kind of feedback here in the GUI that notifies us of what we are doing note that as we click on the buttons and that the underlying application here is also processing some data behind this it's it's assessing the numbers the, the numeric data that we are putting in and it's displaying it back to us and this is the underlying application logic that is um, being done by the application now to get the output of the application remember the application itself is by taking input and then providing output we simply need to click on the equals button here and this is the purpose of this application and this is the expectation of the calculator application we provide input simple input and the calculator does some arithmetic for us and then when we're finished providing the input we click on the equals button and the application has served its purpose and will get the output presented to us in the graphical user interface now note that there are several types of applications and that some applications um, they require graphical user interface for input like a calculator application and they also provide output to something like the graphical user interface this is not consistent across applications there are various types of applications with regards to input and output some applications allow you to pr provide input from a file location or a database location and some applications allow you to provide input from a network location and likewise some applications allow you to store data to an output location or to a networked location and these type of differences also determine the application types that we can develop as Java developers and other developers so let's discuss the second application type that Java can be used for and that is an applet based application now an applet is basically a mini application it could be something like this calculator and so forth now typically if you if you're familiar with logging into a banking system that requires Java installed in your browser the concept behind this is that you interact with what we refer to as a client well, let's discuss clients firstly now a client is something which interacts with the underlying application and so forth so with this calculator application this calculator graphical user interface here is the client for the underlying uh, application code which processes the data and so forth and this is a graphical user interface uh, application now with a the Java applet based application basically you interact with through the web to a server which is a remote um, computer which runs the application or software and through the request that you make to the server you receive a small application downloaded into your web browser and it installs this a small application onto your system as if it were a local application on your system like this calcula calculator that we have here in Windows so that is a second type of application in addition to the GUI based application another type of application that we can develop in Java is we can develop a server application for example a web server application which serves web content as an example we could develop a application like Facebook which stores a lot of data and also displays a lot of data when users log in and so forth and behind this all there's a lot of application logic which for example processes data when users log in checks um, the val validity of their login and so forth and these type of applications are server based applications and the clients for server clients for server applications are typically web browsers and so forth although there are various type of server applications but a web application just gives you a very rough overview of what a server application is a third type of application that we can develop in Java is web services based applications now web services applications are two applications which interact with each other um, through networking and through the web as an example if you were to go and make a purchase on amazon.com and buy a book the Amazon application might make a deduction on their stock of that book so that the 
that the, they, up, they have updated values to present uh, future users so that uh, future users can see whether they have that book in stock and so forth. In turn, the Amazon application could connect through a web service to your bank uh, application or a banking application which would deduct the relative payment from your banking account and these two applications, well the Amazon application acts as a web service to your banking application and so forth and these this web service application typically doesn't require a graphic or well, doesn't require user in a user interaction apart from that the server sends messengers from one application to another and that is the principle be between web service applications and the last type of application that we can develop in Java among several others is a a Java Bean application. A Java Bean applications are basically reusable components or applications. As an example, if we go back to our calculator here, a calculator is not just useful as a application by itself. We could use a a calculator application in a much larger application. For example, we could create a hotel booking application and we could provide the receptionist with a graphical user interface calculator which they could use in the hotel booking system and we could do so very easily by creating a Java Bean based application a calculator based application and we could reuse that Java Bean application within our booking application which we develop and this is a uh, the fourth type of application that we can develop in Java among several others and this is just basically introduction to the type of applications that we can use in Java and also just to introduce you to the concepts of what programming uh, entails and that is that we develop uh, we firstly we download a development kit we use the development kit to develop applications applications the purpose of an application is to take input process the input as is required by the expectations of the program and check the data for validity and produce the desired and valid and expected output and so forth and this is my second tutorial just discussing in general what programming is about and the type of applications uh, that we can use Java for thank you for watching